the book of Acts, when Jesus had passed on to glory, and then he left the disciples now trying to plan on what next in their level of life and ministry as well. You know, all the apostles that were there in the time of Jesus, they had left everything within that time and they had abandoned everything until they had forgotten all other things that were happening elsewhere and in different places. And they embarked on supporting Jesus for this ministry thing. And after so much engagement with the ministry of Jesus, then Jesus passes on. Despite the prophecy Jesus had given to them that one day he would ascend to glory, they still waited for some answers that they did not know how to get the answers. Now, I want to talk about this within the scorn level. All of us are sons and daughters within the scorn level. Well, we may say sons and daughters. Some of the sons will still be born for scorn way after the glory of the founder has found on Prophet T.B. Joshua. Now, we want to talk about this. When they were in the upper room, the apostles of Jesus, they waited until the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Then from there, they were powered to go outside and evangelize. So they scattered all over. Now, that's exactly what I want to talk about when it comes to issue of scorn. Prophet T.B. Joshua is a big, big item in the hands of God. It's a big tool in the hands of God. In fact, there's a part he says that he was loaned to the world that to be used until the right time comes. Now, I want to talk about the people that he gave birth to while he was in ministry. Definitely, I can tell you, he gave birth to this. I can see as in the book of Acts scenario in Squan that many people will be going so many different places and as much as they go, they will always be of the mission they were taught behind. So, you find all these uh, prophets, the disciples, they should understand and mention the source of grace. Of course, even Prophet T.B. Joshua himself, he could mention and say that it is God that sent him through Jesus Christ. He was persecuted for our own good. Jesus Christ was crucified and chastised and died to buy us back to the glory of the relationship between human and God. Now, all these apostles you see, they are the ones that were in the limelight, of course, like Prophetess Inca, Prophet Chris, Tonge, Prophet Christopher Oji, Apostle John Chi, Weissman Daniel, you can name all of them. And uh, Prophet Racine is back to Squan. Him being back to Squan means one major thing, not only to him, but also to the whole squad in general. We take this as an example, and every example has a lesson in it. And that lesson, we have to use it as well to make this thing roll and roll and roll for the good of every other person. So the best way all these others they could stand by is by starting on the charity program. That's what it was left. And then, because there are so many logistics that are not still put in place, now you hear distance is not a barrier. So this is what we are going to resort to, interactive prayer session. And while distance is not a barrier, we also take interactive prayers online. And that will mean that there are so many other things that will be taking place, not just interactive prayers, not only the charity missions, not only other things that we're taking about projects. You can see Prophetess Anna is taking up projects more seriously than any other people, the projects of mission charities, and they are moving international from one nation to another nation. I think the prophecy has just come to a fulfillment.